Hi friends! How are you today? It's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today with my little Yorkshire Terrier Ellie and today we are going to make a carrot thank you card. I know it sounds a little bit funny. I've been um, posting a little bit on Instagram and, and um, Facebook to show you a little bit about what we might do and it's going to be really fun. So welcome, welcome. Let me just um, check here. I always like to check and make sure we're live because um, it's important that everything works. So let's give it a check now. We've been having a lot of rain here in Southern California. What about you guys where you are? Have you been having rain? Okay, it looks like it looks like we're live, which is a really good thing. Good to see you today. Marsha, hello from Texas. How's your weather there, Marsha? Um, yes, hello. Good to see you. So, like I said, it's really been, we've had like two inches over the past week. I don't want to overstate. I'm not 100% sure, but it's been a lot. They said something about two inches, so I'm not sure if it's total. Well, it would have to be total for the year because we have a new year, right? Yeah, Lori Taylor, good to see you. Maybe you can correct me on the inches. Lori um, is one of my downline and lives nearby. But we've had a lot and we're expected to have another big storm tonight. So we need the rain. We desperately need the rain. So we're all really happy. Uh, Linda, good to see you from Pennsylvania. How's the weather there? Let me get my glasses on because I'm not seeing the names as well as I should. So, Tina, Granite Falls, North Carolina. Marsha, it's 58. Okay, 58 degrees. That's not bad. That's kind of not too bad either way. So, I have a little story for you guys about Ellie. So, I was making tacos the other night. Um, not last night, but the night before. <clears throat> and I was um, frying some ground round hamburger in a pan on the stove. And a bit of it popped out. No, it was it was last night, and we used the leftover hamburger and put it in gravy. And I was doing that anyway. Somehow, a piece of the hamburger fell on the floor, right in front of the stove. And I called Ellie over because she's usually right. Hi, Polly. Good to see you. She's usually not not right under my feet when I'm cooking. She's nearby on a little rug. So I called her over. She loved that piece of hamburger, and she has a real touchy stomach, so we rarely give her hamburger. Hi, Roz. So we gave her, I let her, I showed her where the piece was. She ate it. Okay, she loved it so much. We were back in our bonus room um, watching TV, and we heard this strange scratchy noise. And I went out there, and she was scratching the stove and the floor to see if she could find any more. I think she thought it came out from under the stove and we couldn't get her to stop. And finally, I just had to bring her back with us and close the door so that she couldn't do that anymore. Well, this morning, she's back at it. All morning, every time I'm not looking at her, she's over there scratching under the stove. So I went and cleaned out under the stove um, I cleaned it all out. I got a lot of dust bunnies, some other things. There's no more hamburger under the stove. But just a minute ago, I had to go rescue her from there. She is, she really feels that hamburger comes out from under the bottom of the stove. So she, I don't know, she's eventually going to get over it, I'm sure, because we don't give her that much hamburger. But it's been quite a thing. We're like, where's Ellie? Scratch, scratch, scratch. And we're worried that she'll scratch, you know, paint off the floor. I mean, off the, anyway, she's going to scratch something crazy because she's, they were bred to find mice and stuff. So she's quite, quite excited about it. Anyway, hi, Linda. Good to see you. Carol Schaefer. She is determined. They are, the Yorkies are very, very determined. They really are. So that's my Ellie story. And then I have a little fun thing to show you that I've just been, you know how sometimes you get a Christmas gift and it's really almost nothing. 
as far as not that big of a deal, but you're excited about it. So my daughter gave me some MAC lipstick, lip gloss. You guys, look at this bag. Is this not super cute? It gathers up at the top. It is that not adorable. I've got it in my stamp room because I'm gonna figure out something to put in it, like finished cards or something. I just love it. And she knew I would love it. Both of us have our favorite color is pink. But anyway, love the MAC bag. Just love it. Um, yes, put prize because I've got a good prize for you today. And okay, we have so much to talk about today that I'm going to put, you ready to get down? Okay. By the way, I don't know if you saw, but we're making carrots today. And so she has a little Calypso coral bow for to match carrots. Yes, Linda, it's pink. Aloha, Minda. Good to see you. So we have so much to talk about. And I want to show you some stuff and we're going to use a brand new stamp set and make a thank you card. So last chance, I want to just show you, um, let me just see here. I'll put my pink bag in a safe place. Last day today is the last day for the mini catalog items, except the few carryover items, which aren't many. Um, midnight tonight, uh, January 4th, January 4th, midnight mountain time is the last time for any of these items. Now, a lot of them are gone. The Scotty Dog is gone. The Punch, I think, is available. Um, the Gingerbread House that I love so much, that's gone. So a lot of stuff is already gone, but there's a lot of stuff left. So last chance. And you know what that means. Tomorrow, da, 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 midnight tonight, Mountain Time, brand new catalog. I'm so excited. On Friday, we're going to look through it a little bit together. We're still going to make a project, but we will look through the catalog because until midnight tonight, I can't open this with you. And I hope you all, yes, me too, Kathy. Sorry to see some things retire. Um, if you ha don't have a catalog, you want a catalog, and you plan to be my customer, uh, email me, PeggyPrettyPaperCards.com, and I'll get a catalog right out to you because there are some gorgeous, gorgeous things in this brand new catalog. And I'm super, I always get so excited on new catalog day. I stay up until midnight mountain time, which is 11 my time, and I always place an order the minute it goes live. I don't know, I'm just like that. I just like to be in all the fun and excitement. And what I'm gonna order tonight, one of the things, some of the things, are my paper, my product shares, whoops paper shares and ribbon shares and the the last time you can order it is tonight I mean I we just have like three or four more hours that you can order my product shares because I need to have the money in hand before I um, buy them tonight at midnight um, so my product shares this is last chance on these 14 different brand new papers you get a quarter pack of each and I just want to say the right price $50 for a quarter pack of 14 different papers. So email me um, if you want a product share. I have to, I'm going out this evening um, to a little get together with some girlfriends. I should be back 9 or 9.30 my time. And so I'll work with you if you want a paper share or a ribbon share is $20. And then we add $10 on that for shipping. And if you get both, um, plus the shipping, that would be $70. And I will throw in papers from Celebration. So last day for my product shares. Okay, more. So Celebration, the biggest sale of the year starts tomorrow. Thank you, Kay, for sharing. Good to see you. Starts tomorrow, Celebration. There's only one this year. Last year we had two different celebrations. It might have been two years we had two, one in the spring and one in the fall. This year only one celebration and it only lasts January and February, so it's short. Why is it such a big deal? For every $50 you order before tax and shipping, you, I think Ellie's pawing at the stove again. I can hear it. I told my husband to watch for that. We're retired and so he's in the back. So I hope he comes out. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Um, for every $50 order, you get to choose an item from this catalog to get for free. For a $100 order, there, there are other items, special items in here, a couple 
with a $100 order. So we're going to use one of those papers today. But also with Celebration, they have a new starter kit special. And some of you know what I'm going to talk about. A starter kit is when you join Stampin' Up! You don't have to do what I do at all. I have a lot of what I call hobby demonstrators. I think I might have to yell at my husband. Let me, I'm just going to cover the microphone. Hold on. Honey! She's scratching! Okay, sorry if you heard that. He's coming to take care of it. Okay, starter kit special. So, you don't have to do what I do. Many people are what I call hobby demonstrators. And they, when, when you join, after you purchase your starter kit, you get 20% off to start with every product in any catalog as a demonstrator. And when you, um, anyway, more details, but you can get up to 25% off every product, which is what I get. And it's really great. If you love Stampin' Up, you, it's, it's a no-brainer because who doesn't want at least 20% off? Okay, starter kit special. So if you haven't joined and you are thinking about joining, there are three options. I just wrote them out for myself. I'm going to be talking about them more and publishing more on my blog and stuff. But I wanted to tell you, number one, the Boho Blue Mini Machine. Okay, this is a preview of one of the new colors in the annual catalog coming out in May. Boho Blue. Super cute. I'm going to put it down and show you in just a minute. So the only way anybody can get a Boho Blue machine is by joining Stampin' Up! starting tomorrow. As demonstrators, we've been able to order it up until today at midnight. If you're a demo and you want the machine, order it today before midnight mountain time. But starting tomorrow, the only people that can get it are those who get the starter kit. So the first option is for $129 which is what you'd spend on a nice size order anyway, right? You get the Boho Blue Mini Machine and, okay, get this, and $175 worth of your choice of Stampin' Up! product. It's a crazy, <laughs> yes, Ross, she's being persistent. My husband's got her now, the noise has stopped. Okay, um, so for $129 starter kit, you get the Boho Blue Machine and $175 worth of your choice of Stampin' Up! products. So even if you just spent $129, you'd still be getting, I'm not a math person, but about $50 free product. Plus, you get the Boho Blue Machine, all for $129. Okay, another option, number two, is you can get the white machine, the white mini machine, plus $175 in your choice of Stampin' Up! products for only $129. And then, but who wouldn't get the Boho Blue Machine? I even, my favorite color is pink, but I still had to get a Boho Blue Machine. <laughs> Too cute. Okay, the third option is for only $99, you get $175 worth of product. Now I can figure that out. That is $76 in free Stampin' Up! product. That is a lot. And you can choose from the new catalog um, product. So this starts at midnight tonight, Mountain Time. I would love for you to join my team of Sweet Stampers. We have so much fun together. I love my Sweet Stampers, and I would just love to have you a part of my team. There's a link um, up above or below, depending on whether you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, how to join. As of midnight tonight, Mountain Time, you join, and you get or purchase the starter kit, and you, you get your choice of those three different options. I mean, I would go for the Boho Blue Machine. I really would. And pick out your items, your $175 worth of items, um, before you start, because the minute you click that button, you get to put all those items in there, and you get them for only $125 or $99 if you want to do that option. Okay, I just had to tell you all that because it's so much, so much, and such great opportunities. I agree, Linda. Would they offer 
would they offer a pink machine? Oh my gosh, I'd be on that so fast. Uh, Roz, you don't get the celebration rewards with the starter kit. I don't believe that you do. I don't. Um, I could be proven wrong, but I don't think you do. Um, so anyway, it's a great deal. And the final announcement, you know how I have a host code every month. If you use my host code, you get a free prize from me. If you place an order of $50 or more and you insert the host code, it's right at the beginning when you um, go in to place an order with me. Use my host code, which I've got up above or below, whether you're on, in, on uh, Facebook or YouTube. And that's good for all month all the month of January, and this month, here's the prize, that, the gift, it's not a prize, it's a free gift from me, if you use my host code. You guys, I'm giving away the raindrops embossing folder. You can be a customer, you can be, um, well, you have to be a customer <laughs> to place an order with me for $50 or more, use that host code, and after the end of the month, I wait until the end of the month, and then I place the order for all of the raindrop embossing folders. That's my that's my light that you see shining in there. That's the light that I use to light up my space. So I know everybody is going to want this raindrops embossing folder. So $50 minimum order. You could order now if you wanted to, and it's part of the January. Just use the host code, and you'll get this. But... Um, I know everybody wants to order starting tomorrow with the brand new catalog. Okay, business over. News, I mean, it's great news. It's great news. It's not just business. It's wonderful. Yes, Roz, that is a question for demo, demo support. Okay, I really don't think you get the host, the um, celebration with the starter kit special, but of course you're going to place an order right away after because you need all the stuff from the new catalog, right? Okay. I'm going to turn you down and show you today's cute, cute card. Okay. Here we go. And I need to turn this just a little bit because I have my little, um, there we go. I have my host code right there. There it is so you can see it. And here is the cute little card we're going to make today. This is a little, um, slimline card, a mini slimline card, and it's um, six inches tall, and I have these special little fun envelopes that I just love that I got from Amazon. Um, but this is what we're going to make today, and I am just loving this stamp set that we're going to use. It's called Thanks a Bunch. This is a free stamp set. You can only get it free with a $50 or more order starting tomorrow. Um, during celebration and you can get the thanks a bunch stamp set and we're gonna play with it today today is the first day I played with it when I got everything out and I started using it and creating this card so I've got measurements and we are just gonna have a bunch of fun okay so to start with let me put this out of the way and get all my goodies out and to start with there's my bone folder the card base is six by six and a half and scored at three and a quarter, okay? So it's just three and a quarter across. I've made the big, the bigger slimline cards that fit in a legal envelope, but I kind of, they're kind of big. They're, they're actually pretty big. And so I kind of prefer these little ones. I think they're sweet. And I love this type of little envelope flap. It's kind of like an old coin envelope, if you're old enough to remember those. I don't know if they have those anymore. Okay, then I've got this beautiful piece of designer series paper. This is from uh, Dainty Flowers designer series paper, which is also a celebration item. Here's the back. You could use it all by itself, right? But I thought it went so well with the with the uh, carrot tops today on this back side. I really like. So we're just going to go ahead and put this back side on, just like this. If I can get my glue to come out, okay. My multi-purpose liquid glue. So these are two great celebration items. They're each with a fifty dollar. Um, Gosh, I cut that paper a little, it's a little not right. 
Okay, well, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. It's a little smaller on the sides than it is on the top, but that's okay. All righty. And then, oh, I should have left my glue out because now I have some pieces of basic white and that just is a little odd. Let me just see. Yeah, I can't rip it off now. So it's just gonna go how it's gonna go. So here's a piece of basic white. The basic white is two and a half by five and a quarter. And I'm gonna hold this because we're gonna stamp it um, and we're gonna stamp the inside also, but that's how it's going to sit. Let me see what I wrote. Um, I should have cut the paper at three by five and a half and I think I wasn't paying attention. I was in kind of a hurry, but it'll look okay. Mistakes are made. All right, now what we're gonna do is we are going to stamp the carrots. And we're, there are three, I don't know if you noticed, but there are three, it is beautiful paper. Hi, Sue Thomas, good to see you. Three different sizes of carrots on here, and I wanna show you because it just made me giggle. It really did. So here's the tall carrot, and then here's a shading piece. I haven't used that. This is the medium carrot. We're gonna use that today. And then there's this little bunch of mini carrots. Are they too cute? And so you have this leaf, which I looked online at carrot tops and they really don't look like that. But, and so I'm not using that today. This is what carrot tops look like, this one. That's what we're gonna to use today. And this, so I'm not using the large carrot. I'm gonna use the medium carrot with that carrot top and the mini carrots with their own little carrot tops. Isn't that just so cute? Okay, so let's get started. Let's get out the medium sized carrot. Here it is. I don't even know if you can see it quite on there. And I'm gonna use pumpkin pie because I thought it was probably about the closest. Now I did look up, you guys. There are like vanilla color, colored carrots, kind of white carrots. If you believe it, there are pink carrots and you'll be seeing some from me. I've got to make pink carrots and purple carrots. And I've seen the purple and I've seen the white, but I haven't ever seen a pink carrot. But it was, I Googled photos and it was on there. So you can bet we're going to have some pink carrots, but not today. Today we're going to have this cute little bunch down at the bottom. And so I'm just going to stamp one at a time. This is a photopolymer stamp set so that's good because it's nice and clear we're going to go ahead and stamp three of them two on the outside and one in the middle but i don't want the edges to i want the edges to really just barely touch i don't want them to overlap okay so i'm being a little careful about that and then like this so there is our bunch bunch of carrots they're cute, it's amazing that they can get that much detail. I'm gonna bring this up and just show you how, how detailed, look at the detail on that carrot, those carrots. Okay, now I'm gonna use pear pizzazz for, we could use any color, but I kinda liked pear pizzazz for the carrot tops. And here is the carrot top stamp. And so I'm going to turn my carrot sideways, I think, let me see, how am I gonna do this? Let me ponder. I'm going to do a lot of carrot top stamping. I'm just going to tell you that to, to get a, what looks like a bunch. So I'm going to start out where I'm barely touching the top with the end of the stem here. And I'm going to have to pull it down so I can see it a little bit better. Okay, there's one. And I'm going to put quite a few on here. I'm going to put one on the center. Just check that. And I'm going to show you a little technique, one on the side. Okay, but we know that carrots don't look like that, really, do they? Sharon, yes, they are too big. Hi, Colleen, good to see you. Um, so I have a little, a little technique, and I wrote on it, so I know I wasn't supposed to use it. Scratch for stems. Okay, so I'm going to cover my carrots all right just right up to right barely where that is where the pumpkin pie ink ends and I'm going to lower down my stem so that I can get a carrot right or excuse me a, 
a carrot top right there. And that way the stem doesn't go over the carrots. It's going on this little scratch piece. And let me do it again over here. I hope you can see that. So I'm going to do it on this side too, and I want to just barely show the, the pumpkin pie color there so I know exactly where to stamp it. Okay, now I'm going to put some more in the center because we want just a real kind of a bouquet of carrot tops there. I think it makes it look good. And also, another thing I noticed, when you overlap it, it, it adds a darker, where it overlaps, it becomes darker, so I, I like that look. There's our little bunch of carrots and carrot tops. Isn't that cute? I could do one co coming off to the side a little bit here just for fun. A wild carrot top. Let's do a little wild carrot top here. Again, you need to kind of see the orange so that you know. There's a little more wild one. Isn't that just cute? I really like, I don't know, I just really like these carrots. Okay, so we've done our carrot tops. And now what we're going to do is we are going to put some ribbon around our um, the top of our paper. And this is the one of the new, it's metallic woven ribbon in uh, Parakeet Party, one of the new greens. Well, I guess it's the only new green. And I just think it goes really well. I think it looks pretty with the paper and the, um, the carrot tops. So we're just going to tie a bow up here. You know, I just like to use the ribbons. I like to tie bows, and the ribbons in the new catalog are very pretty. But again, they always are. So we're just going to tie a little bow up here, a sim just a simple bow. I think this ribbon, you can pull it out and stretch it out and fray it, but one thing I have to say about it is I think it's kind of between, um, like between a, a baker's twine or a linen thread and a thicker ribbon. It's, it's kind of in between. It's about an eighth of an inch long. And I'm just going to uh, put a knot there because it is slippery, because it's so um, sparkly, and I don't want it to the bow to come undone. Whoa, let's get that little tail. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we'll tie the bow. I'll just go sideways a bit. I was thinking this would be cute for kids if you're trying to eat, get them to eat their vegetables. You know, you try to get them to eat their carrots or something. I think this could be a kind of a cute little card. All right, there's our bow. And let's see, it ended up being a little bit, a little wonky. Let's see if I can pull it tighter. Okay, I'll adjust it a little bit. And I see that it's um, it's a little bit loose there, too. Let me do something here. I like to sometimes use my uh, Seal Plus. Do you guys ever use your Seal Plus? I'm just going to put a little Seal Plus on the back there and see if I can't um, get, get this extra to kind of stick on it there. That makes it look a little better, I think. All right, now we're ready to put it on our card base. And we're going to use Stampin' Dimensionals to do that. And I might pull that a little bit and put a dimensional right over there. We are not going to let that ribbon beat us. There's always a way. I love the carrots too, Marsha. I just think they're super cute. You know, I never imagined that I would say that, you know, I really like the carrots, carrot stamps, but they are just cute. Stampin' Up! has done a beautiful job with their art, and I like that there are three little sizes. Now, that is a bit messy, okay? You guys do not tell anyone, and nobody will ever notice, okay? That's how we are with our stamping secrets. Stampin' Secrets, don't tell. We're just going to get all those little tops off of there. Then we'll put this down. Okay. 
and again I didn't get it quite cut quite the right way that I wanted but nobody will notice it's still a super cute card I think I'll this is the thing with bows you have to play with them like that and then I do have um, some little glue dots here because when I have slippery ribbon like this I like to put a glue dot under the bow to to keep it where I want it to be so let me just see here I'll just get that blue glue dot right under there and then look at how nicely it makes the it just holds that bow just the way you want you can kind of fix it up a little there I like that and then we'll trim the tails okay let's see that one might be a little bit long there we go I think that I'm su was surprised how nice that ribbon goes with the with the carrot tops it just it's just kind of thin and nice I think it looks good okay now we need to put a sentiment on there so what we're gonna do what I decided to do here the sentiments are cute you guys very cute see Omara good to see you happy new year Allison you were trying to give your son a haircut oh my gosh my kids would never let me touch their hair after I chopped their bangs when they were tiny. <laughs> so good for you. Okay, let's take a quick look at the stamp set. So it has, look at you. It looks like spring. Hey there, there's no one quite like you. Love you, thanks. Everything's coming up carrots. But what I'm gonna use today is thanks a bunch. I think love you a bunch is cute too. I like them both. So there are two separate stamps, and I'm going to use Old Olive here because I want it to be a little bit darker. Um, I want the sentiment to stand out on the card. As you can see, this is Pear Pizzazz. It would be fine, but I just thought, you know, why not try Old Olive? I think it looks just a little bit better. And I've got a, a, a long strip that I saved of half inch basic white paper. I'm just gonna ink up my stamp. <laughs> this is just a day for the dog to be crazy, isn't it? <laughs> I think we might have gotten a delivery. I was expecting a couple deliveries today. Okay, there's our thanks. And then while we're at it, I'm gonna go ahead and do a bunch. Again, the two stamps come separately so that you can pair them with some of the other words. Okay, let's go down here and we'll put a bunch. There we go. Okay, and I do you see what I mean about how it, the, the darkness of the old olive kind of helps it to stand out a bit? Alrighty, so we're gonna use thanks just on the front of the card. I'm gonna cut that right there. I'm going to position the thanks like right in here. And so I want to trim the back side of it off, leaving about a quarter of an inch, kind of like that. And then I'm going to do a, um, a flagged end here. Let's see if I can push that up just a hair. Okay, so the flagged end, you guys know, you cut in the center of the paper, straight up, and then from corner to the end of that line and it makes a V and we call that a flagged end and I a lot of times I like it so we're just gonna put that right there and I'm gonna use some dimensionals which I thought I had here here there we'll just use some Stampin dimensionals This is actually kind of a simple card. I think it's pretty. Um, it's cute, rather. I think it's cute. It's simple. It's not. It's not over the top, you know, luxurious or anything. And there's our things. We'll fix the ribbon a little bit. Isn't that just a cute card front? So now what we're going to do is put our inside of our card in. 
but I didn't do it because we're going to stamp it with the little tiny carrots, and I can't wait for you to see how darling they are. Okay, here's our pumpkin pie ink, and these little ones are just out of control cute. It al they almost look like a little glove or something. I don't know if you can, s can you see that? They're just, and they have little dots on them. Oh my gosh, they're just so cute. Okay, I'm gonna put them down here in the lower corner. Okay, and I'm gonna also do my envelope. So I'm gonna mail my envelope this way. Um, so I'm going to put my, my little carrots in the lower left corner of my envelope, just like that. Now just wait. They don't look like much now, but you will see once I get the cute little top on. Where is the cute little top? Oh, here it is. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the Pear Pizzazz ink and get that inked up good. And we'll put that right on top of those little carrots. Isn't that cute? Can you see it? Isn't that just a darling? I mean, who expects to have carrots on your envelope of a card that comes to you? I think we could even do two. I'm wondering about doing two on this one. I'll turn one to the left, whoops, and one to the right. Hmm, I didn't stamp that well. Let me go back. Oh, it's going to be a fluffy one. Let's go in the middle. That is a bunch of carrots. Isn't that so cute? Thank you, Linda. So now we're ready to put our inside of our card right on there. Oops. And then I'll show you what we're going to do with the a bunch, the second part of the sentiment. So we're going to put this in right here. So this is a design you can use with almost anything. You know, you don't have to use the carrots. I'll leave my glue out. I like to show you designs that you can use. You could make this for anything, with any stamp set, right? It's very cute with the carrots, but I like to just give you options. Okay, so for, for the a bunch sentiment, for this one, I'm just going to do an angle like that, on the left and on the right. Just like that. And so when you open the card, it's going to say, thanks, a bunch. Now this, I'm not going to put on dimensionals because then it makes the, the front of the card kind of stick out. I'm just going to glue it down with a little bit of glue. So let's just see if we can get that kind of centered. Just like that. And there's our card. Where'd my little envelope go? Thanks a bunch. Isn't that just so cute? I love this little carrot set. Um, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with it. I'm, I'm thinking about making a whole row of the big carrots, maybe, in pink, purple, white, orange, like that. What do you think? Yeah, it's going to be cute. Okay, I'm going to turn you up now, and we're going to award a prize. So last week, I told you that the prize for this week would be my set of, we made these together at one of the Facebook Lives. The set of thinking of you thank you notes. Um, there are one, two, three, four different thank you notes. Maybe five. Five different thank you notes. Five different thank you note note cards. And um, so I'm giving this entire set away. It fits in an, in a mailing envelope, a bigger envelope. So. I'm glad about that. And the winner, the random number generator, pulled Linda Leonhart. And I saw her on here today. Linda, are you? I see you there. So, Linda, you won all the note cards. I have your address. I looked it up before I came on. And I can take these off now. I have your address. So, I'll be sending these note cards out to you. Congratulations, Linda. I'm so glad you won. Um, and, okay, you guys, for next week, I'm giving something brand new. Uh, this is, a, I got two of these. 
a package of pastel adhesive backed sequins. And these are from the brand new catalog. Let me see if I can get them up a little bit closer so you can see them better. They're really pretty. They're brand new. Can't even be ordered until midnight tonight. But as a demo, I got a couple of packs. And so I'm going to give this away. Linda, yes. Oh my gosh. She says, you are so welcome. I so appreciate you guys. So if you want this package of brand new sequins, um, pastel adhesive back sequins from the brand new catalog starting tonight, put the word prize, whether you're on YouTube or you're on Facebook. And um, this, I'll give this away then next Wednesday. So today's the 4th, so that'll be the 11th. I'll give these away. And it's a it's a good prize. And congratulations, Linda. Okay, you guys, new catalog tomorrow. If you want paper shares, it's the last few hours. Email me, Peggy, at prettypapercards.com, and I'll get you all hooked up on that. Um, be ready for that new catalog. If you have never gotten the starter kit from Stampin' Up!, this is the time to get it and get this adorable boho blue machine after midnight tonight mountain time. I want you guys to get it. It's super cute. It just makes me happier. I love the mini machine before. Now I really love the mini machine. Okay, have a great evening. I'll see you on Friday and we'll look through that brand new catalog.